guys, Son of Beast here. Our next game is on the roll today as we are showing you what the next game we have so far. It's the Utah Jazz from Donovan Mitchell taking on against the OKC Funders of Sherry Kogodrix Alexander. So in that game, this is how things are going to be happening all over again. We'll never know what to be coming out so far, but it looks really, really close to be showing you that I did season one of the of the NBA 2K17 back in the other game, but now this playoff matchup is the retake of how it's going to be, but round number two is just going to be very tough to be showing you in the playoffs. In that case, for this uniform, Chris Paul's uh, uniform is going to be look like the city, part of a, uh, a city edition that, that I'm just going to be using it to use uh, a better location that time. And their, and their city form is orange. With that, let's get this right in the action as we have the starting lineups. We have Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Royce O'Neal, Bojan Bogdanovich, and Rudy Gobert. As you notice, where's Joe Ingles? Well, Joe Ingles may have may have to be uh been out uh conscious uh maybe out for the season, but I'm not sure if he might be might be back here or not. And then he, and then on the other hand, we have Chris Paul, Shea Gilgurgics Gilgurgics Alexander, Lugens Dort, Danilo. Danilo Gallinari and Steven Adams as I'm going to be playing as OKC first game one and the rest of the lineup that we are looking at is right on the board but, uh, but Joe Ingles he may not be in a starting five right at that moment but he's still here Jordan Clarkson, Ed Davis, Emmanuel Moutier and Yang and there, there are a couple players down below then we have Noel, Dennis Schroeder, Tay Ferguson, Mike Muscala, Diallo, Burton, Nader, and Basley. Showing you what the team will look like on each side. How does that need to be noticing if it's alright? Well, there's no choice right at that time. Game 1, OKC at the Chesapeake Arena. Energy Arena. Game ready to start. And this is going to be uh, this is going to be a game one. As you can see, there's nothing else going on around here. As they're trying to take a look and see what is happening around here. The, the game is up, and we are taking a look at Chesapeake Are Energy Arena and see what we got. The NBA 2K20 playoffs continues right after this. Here's a pre-game show that we are looking for. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, the Utah Jazz squaring off against the Oklahoma City Thunder at Chesapeake Energy Arena. And for Oklahoma City, they're working hard to make a push up the standings as the playoffs get closer. As we speak, they're 10 games behind the conference leaders. And in this one, Donovan Spida Mitchell taking the court. Big fella, you scared of spiders? Of course not. I would never have a shacknophobia. I brush them off like simple coverage. And legal, you can clear it. I mm. hate I hate spiders, man. Wow. Spider Mitchell puts fear in his opponents, though, I'll tell you that much. You know, both ends of the floor. Strong, explosive, future is bright. And he's like a spider. He can just dangle and get you. You seem to be <laughs> to be a guy who was afraid of spiders. Do that again, Kevin. He can just dangle. <laughs> you look like a guy who's afraid of spiders. No, no, no. Dangle. I, I, was, I was afraid of the web. Yeah. You, wouldn't get, you, won't, you won't get me this time if you try that. Dangle. Ah! Oh, ah! Try again. Dangle. Ah! Okay, stop messing. You're messing up on one of the commentaries. So with that, if you guys are scared of the spiders, please let me know. It's not going to be tough like i always Welcome seen it before. Weekend, Anyways, we are here at the Chesapeake Arena Energy 
I'm sorry, I was supposed to say Chesapeake Energy Arena. And we are taking a look at the great game one that we are seeing. Starting off with the Western Conference standing, Utah makes a great lead over the OKC bit with a tie against, uh, with a tie from uh, from Houston. But we're definitely taking a look and see, and all the fans are came in the playoffs, getting ready to get started in game one history. This time, I was just never uh, consuming to be a better of luck, but that time, it might be all right to uh, check out the games that we love, and the replays also, including as well, including Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, and of course, and of course, uh, there's plenty of more. Steven Adams. Head coach Quinn Snyder is trying to help the Jazz break through in a crowded Western Conference. Snyder said, there's always challenges and I'm comfortable with adversity. I just want to keep the right perspective. I've got something that I love to do. Kevin, he is one of the biggest reasons the Jazz is always a factor. He is, doing he is totally right, right now. Right. Steven Adams gets he things running, and he pulls up where he wants to be with Chris Paul, Daniel Gallinari, Shaky Gorgeous Alexander, and of course, Dort. Uh, as you guys don't know anything about it, what? Who's Dort? Well, I don't have any chances to show. But here are the key matchups that we have. Donovan Mitchell against Jake and Gorgeous Alexander. But that time, here's the tip off. Utah wins the uh, tip off, and we are underway here in the, at the in OKC. Donovan Mitchell with a strong move. He finishes uh, basket first. On the other hand is Chris Paul. This is back to uh, this is to Gilgoris Alexander. Steven Adams with it. Utah Jazz looking out and rebounded by Rudy Gobert as Chris Paul misses the three. It's rebounded by Steven Adams after a miss by Mitchell. Still taken. Rebounded, and, it, and the shot is off. Minute gone right now in the first quarter to Chris Paul. Move to move and puts a two point bucket in. Chris Paul's got two. And now they tied it up. 550 remaining. Here's Mike Conley. Covered by Chris Paul. Knocked it away. Great start for Chris Paul to stop. Here's Gil Burgess Alexander. He passes back to Paul. Now here's Gil Inari. Over by Donovich and Rudy Gobert with another rebound. Nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss. With the shot, makes a two. He has two points so far, made three. OKC this season, they, this happened like two games ago that was recently played back in 2019. I mean 2018 or, or something like that. I don't know if it's the right I don't know if it's the right call or not, but this is how things are happening. Dort back to Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Steven Adams. And off there. Off they went and O'Neal with the rebound. Here's Conley guarded by Paul. Mitchell up top. Mitchell on top. Right at the corner. With a shot, grabs her own miss. Oh, put back. No, he not the put back. Duh. There was a rebound, but then, then he tried to help it out. Rudy Gobert has two. Just 425 remaining. Here's Dor on the other hand. Dor with the shot. He missed again, off target that time, not on green. Bounds McDonough and a dunk goes in. Assist by Mitchell. Beautiful Here's Paul on the other hand. Just 403 left. You burst through a seam like that. You gotta look right towards the rim. Gonna have to go back in motion. Need to help it out. Bounce pass is off. Looking for a right moment to Steven Adams, but it's not in. That's in there. That's in there for Mitchell. 
their first call timeout is OKC. And you notice how this is happening? This is what everyone was looking for after, this, after that. Stephen Adams, he might be strong enough to get there at that time, but this one was totally my favorite to get to look up how strong he is. But, but if you're looking for Paul George, he's not here with the Funders. He would have been back here until five seasons later. But in that case, he's now with the Clippers with Kawhi Leonard. As uh, Russell Westbrook was gone, and you may not know if it's happening again. But Chris Paul decides to bring in with the with the OKC Thunder players. So in that case, I'm just sure this is what, what it's supposed to look like. And I think it will be there too. Thunder making some switches here as Ferguson is uh, is on the court. With 343 left, here's Ferguson, covered by Gobert, finds a bounce pass to Adams, Adams at the shot, missed again, and then Rudy Gobert with a tight defense. Conley, shot, Ferguson with the rebound, his first rebound of the night, Paul for three, good on a block, good on the wing, Paul's got five. On that play. And he's not hesitating like he wants to get up there and sprint forward. Here's Gobert as Adams covers. Pass to Mitchell. Oh, Stephen Adams with the rejection. Oh, Ferguson with the dog. There's only one hand. There's the block for Stephen Adams, and we got Ferguson with the dog. I can't believe it they're going loud right now. This is a loud city in OKC. Conley, words three. Rebounded by Bogdanovich. Gobert with that shot. And they're gonna like need to keep an eye out for a 203 zone. Paul passes to Adams. Adams to Gajeldrix Alexander. Paul for three. That shot, no good. And Gallinari couldn't they couldn't make another rebound. O'Neal with a strong motion. With a shot. Royce O'Neal gets two. Here are the field goals for today. Passes to Ferguson. Here's Ferguson. After the basket by Utah. And here are fans chanting for a let, go, let's go OKC chant. This is it to Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. To the middle. Here. Finds Adams. Foul. And we got we got a shooting foul for Rudy Gobert, his first foul. Stephen Adams looking out so hard, and they are doing it what they way you they want. Stephen Adams going to take two shots after a foul was called on on Utah. He misses the first free throw, and here are some changes for Utah and OKC. Here's a here's Moutier, Clarkson, Ingles, and Davis as Rudy Gobert stays on center. Three of each. Shooter Deliallo and Noel sub in. Now Steven Adams taking one. He makes one in the second. Adams has his struggles. He makes the second shot. But he's making strides and Moutier against Schroeder. Work to do. It's Just stolen by Schroeder. Here he comes. Great layup, and there's a bucket for Schroeder after a takeover. Ball by Moutier. For the Utah Jams. They lead by four. They come into this one following him. Ah, the foul's on Noel, but Schroeder would have had him. I think he's doing it too much at the same time. And here are some a lot of rebounds this season. 
Drummond was in the lead with 15.2 at that time. And now here's Moutier. Dennis Schroeder says, says, Noel, why were you here? I was going to cover him. And Noel said, said, we'll make it difficult. I'm not hurting him. I, I was doing the right thing. I want to do. The first bucket goes in. And now Steven Adams comes in to sub out. Noel switches over to the center. And then Mike Muscula is on the court. With one, missed it that time. Oh, the recover was Rui Goubert. Oh, we got a dunk. Thunders trailing by seven. Shooter passes to Muscola. Villiella for three. And another rebound sent by Rudy Gobert a second time. Nobody in the middle of the paint, and that puts up another good, good layup at that time. Schroeder against Moutier. Screen on Muscala. Shots. Oh, close one. But Ed Davis takes his first foul. Their second team foul. Dennis Schroeder, how, how amazing is he doing right now? He's doing all right. But Dennis Schroeder did win the, the slam dunk contest. That was his second time that he, that he did. But there are some other players that made some dunks as well. But it's really hard to get there. Here's Ed Davis, so I fired the line. The first, the first free throw is good. And, that, and when you look at that trip, Dennis Schroeder, he's been coming out here for the game since the last time he was there before. And talk about that run. He's, uh, he's doing a lot, a lot of hard work on the floor. Not uh, a lot of picking up at the speed at the moment, but he's doing really hard. A lot of defense, a lot of uh, a lot of dunks, and also the shooter. It's amazing alley who passes, changes direction, and then someone, and then the other player handles, a, handles the bucket in. Now here's Moody. Now Moody in the corner. Rudy Gobert with the with the look. Here's Gobert. Rudy Gobert with the layup, and they made it again. They're getting on a roll. They're down by six. Last three field goals have come from the paint. Moving over the crossover, the Thunder with another miss, a lost the look. Looking for a man to cover, but there comes Clarkson. Clarkson makes the uh, layup. 11 seconds. The big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. Noel going for it. Foul called on Davis, his second. Personal foul. Stop the clock at 4.1 seconds. Three of four at the free throw line tonight. But for Noel, he's about to take two shots. So that's the second foul. And he knocks down. He knocks down the first free throw. Since coming into and here's the second free throw. Let's see if he can make it. Then let's see if he can make, that, if he can make to two. Try to find a role on a team where he can consistently make. Key yes, he does. He made two shots immediately. With the ability and confidence. Three seconds. Is something that every time that will end the first quarter with the early lead. Utah 27 and Funders 14. But now the eye is facing out the different time. Their defense has been stifling. We come back right after this. The ups and downs of injuries and early on in my career not being able to be consistent enough to be considered a top guard in the league and making myself work that much harder to get my game to a level where I feel that I can compete against anybody in the league. And that's what I'm most proud of is just being able to withstand that. Great work for Mike Conley, and he's doing really well trying to keep his trying to keep his team alive and showing his work. Athletic. By that moment, he'll he'll do whatever he can take to do, 
and not taking hard times as was always. Schroeder coming in. The two-pointer is good for Schroeder. Schroeder's got six. And here's Clarkson in the other way. He first got a two. Bounce pass incomplete. Dalliato making another rebound, but it missed. Here's Ingles, covered by Noel. He passes it to Gobert. Schroeder up. Rebounded by Dalliato. Great deep for Schroeder. Long pass to Ferguson. Hey, Noel with the dunk. Great pass for Di Diallo, and he's got his first assist. Just six minutes left. Passes to Moutier, back to Clarkson. 13 feet, and rebounded by Noel. And here, the chants are called OKC Chair. Moody up. Oh, I'm sorry, Schroeder. Gobert takes his second personal foul after a call, after a whistle blow. He's taken right in behind the shooting line, shooting free throw line. Rudy Gobert with a with a, a surprised look on the face, saying, "No, how do how do how do I know if I got a foul?" Well, there's one problem. It went right through the wrist, and that's what it's that's what it's happening all the time. Dennis Schroeder taking two shots. The first one doesn't go in. Here's uh here's Dort subbing out Ferguson. Modifying that foul out rule. I know that they do that in the summer league where you now Schroeder will take one shot left with 533 left. Going to be going for trailing by four. so that star players or meaningful players. They did. They trail by four. Then a Schroeder gets seven points of the game after. He made a free throw. You should be penalized for playing. And keeping us updated for the sideline. Screen coming from Davis. Well, Kevin coming into the oh, he did find an open look by Davis. He was ready for the NBA. And that was happening again. All of a sudden, it's starting to fall apart. They were the ones who convinced Passes up to Noel. They said, look, you're good enough. Just shot blocked by Rudy Gobert. Kevin through a couple of seasons in Utah. That's Clarkson to Davis. Well, there it is again. That's what happens here. They found an open man left behind. Pass the Schroeder to D.A.L. The Schroeder. A miss that time for Schroeder. Well, that shot went in for Moutier, but that time was keeping it too much of a waste. Passes back to Schroeder. He goes right to Dort. Dort moving it around. Needs some pass here to work out. Hold it. Muscala up. He's off on that time. Didn't get that shot back in. Moutier with the dunk. Timeout called by OKC, and they're talking it over. They need to get things right, but they have to. Uh, they need to. Uh, they need to help it out to make the de how to make the defense work. That's what they need to do. For that time, they need hydration, and that's what I need to do. And we're back up on the court, and we got some changes after uh, Noel is subbed out. And we got Paul back on here on the court. Back to Adams. Going with an almost entirely new group here. just checked in for Rudy Gobert. Bounce passes to Gallinari. checked in for Clarkson, and Mike Conley subbed in with the block. Oh, and he put it away. 
Nice D, recovered by Skill Gorgix Alexander. Schroeder doored up. Again, they missed it. No two call. Oh! Donovan Mitchell. Wow, that was shocking. They didn't have that right. With the layup, Chris Paul delivers it again. And that's an example of playing big. Plays big, that's what they have to do. Conley, ball didn't fumble it out well. Ball against Conley. And there's the feed to Davis. And Davis has a dunk in. Go, go, get Davis you. gets Davis eight and eight. From anywhere within a few feet of the basket. Adams outside. Pass to Dort. Adams trying to free himself. Dort up. Gallinari with the rebound. And he saves it. Dylan Gallinari gets two for the bucket. Getting on the offensive glass. Two twenty remaining. And they didn't have any prices to get back in. Mitchell finds him. Foul called on Adams. It, it was too close to get there. Not in front of him, but went from the side. Brett Davis, he did find himself as Donovan Mitchell looked for an open pass, and that's where he went. That was really tough on the eye look, but that's not, not a goaltending. One shot for Ed Davis. He missed it. And, uh, and on the other hand, not a lot of space. Who's the quickest player that you have seen in a half court set this year? Holding the ball. And he lost it. Couldn't get it back. And that rolls off into into Jazz Utah ball. And find a way out of it. Two minutes remaining in the first half. But it's not his handle with just the one hand, right, Kevin? It's about he has with the shot. That's good. Lost off the perimeter. Mike Conley has two. Layup, good. Uses the backboard to help the glass. Kyrie's got a lot of that. Help that ball get in the net. Conley to Bogdanovich. Block! Saved it! How did you do that? Ed Davis with a smoke on run. He passes to Gil Gorgic Alexander. To Chris Paul, Steven Adams. Ferguson. To 14, and there's a and there's a double. Ferguson gets another two. Making the block pass work. Blocked by Gallinari. It is Gallinari. I, I was understanding that. Chris Paul with the layup, and they are pulling up the pace before halftime. Somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Conley against Paul. Not to lose. And going back the other way. Go for it. Gallinari. Woo! Great pass. And Gallinari did have it number two points in. He has four. 35 to play. Now down to 30 seconds. Here's Mitchell. Rolling up the between the leg. Mitchell has another points. He's got five made. Five made so far, just 20 seconds. Holding it. We cover. Gilgorgius Alexander makes the three. Assist by Paul as they got another one. Five seconds to shoot. Mitchell on the three. That is the end of the first half. We are heading off to the second half after halftime. 43 to 34 is your score.
and we're definitely looking out toward again. Seven thanks, joined by Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, your team is competing at a very high level. What do you think that's happening? Well, you know, we're trying to defend, and uh, you know, we've been a little bit fortunate too to miss some shots, but you know, more than anything, we just want to try to guard and make it hard on them. Gotta make them feel. Good. Thanks, Quinn. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be right back in the second half after this. Welcome back at the Chase Peak Energy Arena as we get started off with the third quarter. Jazz take out with 43 to 34 as Ed Davis makes 12 points, only 6 out of 6, and a 9 minute on the court. Showing him what a respect how he could do uh, what what he'd done so far without making the breakups in, uh, in between. But now, the third quarter is on. Here's Paul, covered by with uh, Conley. But now Conley takes it over after Rudy Gobert with the steal. Chris Paul out of control, and Donovan Mitchell made another points. 12 right now. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Well, the point is on as Dort makes another one. 6.30 to play. Making another points in, trying to get there. Passes off to O'Neal. Stop the clock. Dort has his first personal foul. He tried to find an open man, but the but the man was covered. Trying to steal the ball, but the man was covered. Here's Gobert. McDonovich with the with the layup after Rudy Gobert's assist. Here's Gallinari up again. Shots good. Gobert has his third personal foul. And my goodness, Gilinari did make it. So one more look at it right now for Gilinari. Here's what how he did. He found a one man. And there it is. He made that he made that shot and that counts the basket. Hopefully that coach doesn't have any mind. Cinder Coach Cinder from the Utah Jazz. Snyder, sorry, Snyder. One shot for Gallinari. And hopefully he'll take 38, 39, sorry. So with that, he made one, and after the two points, that converts into three. So valuable when he's out there on a consistent now on the other hand taking it out almost went into backcourt but it looks like Gobert just took it he's got to stop with that fouls already that was crazy they're going for the throat Steven Adams made a shot with an open look no good O'Neal on the other hand in the driver's seat Mitchell up again. Connolly. Avoid the screen. Stopping on him. Connolly makes another shot. And now it's a 12 point jazz lead. Well, great. Gallinari up again. Made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very Layup. Rebound. Gallinari with the with the rebound effort. He has nine points. Five minutes left. Fifty-one to forty-one. Going back in and finding possession there. And Gobert takes to Mitchell. Gobert to Mitchell. Trying to move out of the way. That's good. Timeout is called by Funders. Easy shots. They're not just looking out here right away. They need to tight that space. And here are new groups for for funders and jazz. Muscala comes in for Gallinari. Boudier, Clarkson, and Ingles. And here are the four subbed in. Running in with a tough shot of the defender. Made a stop. McDonovich lost a shot. 
Thunder have gone three of six in the third quarter, fifty percent from the field. And Dennis Schroeder with the shot for two. Third bucket of the night. Third bucket of the night. To drive first, now establishing the. And Schroeder has nine. Love watching him rise up immediately after the catch. Here's Moutier. Moutier. Wow, tough basket, but and that counts in. But it's gotten away. That play never gets old, Kevin. The pick and roll will. Diallo in the other hand. Pass the shooter. Noel passes to back pass. Shooter. Now here is Muscala. He is covered by Bogdanovich. Made the shot fake and he made another one. Found the right path that he was looking at. Who had the cleanest look on the possession? 340 left to play. But Donovich for three, it's good, and he tips it in that time. Not that time. He doesn't want to go for that two. Shooter, Gilliallo. In the shooter's face. Tipped away, and Gobert steals it again. The wide open look here for Ingles. Ingles made that three. No man covered. Assist by Moutier. His teammate, a good look there. In the corner, it's Diallo. Pass the door. Schroeder comes in. And a Schroeder missed again all of a sudden. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. And foul called on Schroeder, his first foul. Would have found it right away, but there's a foul that puts him on the shoulder. Moutier's out. Donovan Mitchell's back in. And Dort subbed out. Ferguson's checked in. The Jazz with possession. 16 point lead, the largest margin in the game. Pass to Mitchell. Just four to shoot. Four to shoot. Contested, but rebound again. Only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. Wide open look. It's good. Schroeder makes the three. And with nobody around, he does it again. Somebody's got a shadow in out there. Knocked loose. And it's turned off and out of bounds. Good finding. Finding the ball, but the Schroeder made that three way ahead. One of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. And they've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. A mid season tournament, a postseason play in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82 game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? The great assessment. Great assist for that time, and that was another steal that they're looking for. Easy to see why Boyan Bogdanovich has solidified himself as a key player. I mean, Pass to Muscala. From long range in recent years, competes defensively. He's a Screen on Muscala. Shooter. Cut! Lost the ball again, but no goaltending called. Bogdanovich up in. Passes it to Clarkson. Rolling in. Clarkson missed it again, and there's no number two pulling up the board. Foul called on Mitchell, his first foul. As they're looking for an open pass, that's what they did just one time. Good pass at, uh, to Ferguson, and that and there's the call that was that Mitchell made. For Ferguson, he'll take two right away. And the first the first one falls in, and Conley is checked in for. For Bogdanovich, you know Ferguson has already made. Engel switched his position to point forward. Diallo's subbed out. Gallinari's checked in. Gallinari, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Ferguson couldn't handle the number of free throws, so only one made. Now Clarkson, free for Mitchell, and a Jazz. Keeps that lead again. Who can do a lot of things decently well. Jordan Clarkson, solid at dishing that rock. Avoid the man, two men on defense. To the paint. To the paint, Gallinari. 
Kicks it out to Schroeder. And Schroeder has another point saved. He has 14. Conley in the other way. Pass to Gobert. Looking man on a position. Here's Mitchell. And the foul called on Noel. His shooting foul. That's his second. Noel didn't have the right choice, but it didn't get really tough enough looking all, all over him. And he did, he went behind him, he didn't get up front. So Mitchell takes two shots. Now the Loud City needs to make some rumbling noise. And it's already too late. He made the first free throw. Steven Adams is checked in for Noel. Clarkson is subbed out. O'Neal is checked in. All switched up for for you for OKC. I'm just all looking it up again. So one missed that time and only one made. And now here's Gallinari in the other direction. Passes to Paul outside. Ferguson. Gallinari for three. Oh, it's Gilgorgix Alexander. So sorry. And the basket for Ingles is a quick move and not putting up so much time. Coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, and now they're going to have to try to buzz Peter out. Here it goes. And it missed again. So that's the end of the third quarter. 69 to 54 as Jazz puts up on the lead, taking notes. And we'll be right back after the action right after this. And now here's a quick look for State Farm assist of the game. Looking right now at the Jazz motion, the the Mitchell was a crazy pass in the backer. He puts a backhand pass right through Ed Davis, and and now Ed Davis just make that make that dunk, and he had it again in no time. Mitchell in the other direction, starting off in the fourth quarter. Pass almost tipped it, but Conley recovered. Gobert with the tight move. Great D for Adams, and Paul rebounds the ball. Right after the uh, Gobert misses. Uh, never mind, they definitely didn't have that chance to make it. Steven Adams with the rebound. Follow up by the miss for uh, Conley. Ferguson, Gilgordis Alexander with the pass to Paul. Paul looking over the floor. Paul up. And another miss made for Chris Paul. He has too much fragments pulling up on the board. Back to Mitchell. Mitchell finds him. Foul on Adams, his second personal foul. Steven Adams, picks one up. Steven Adams making too much disappointment. And Gobert taking two shots at the line. Loud City, this is your chance. Gobert misses the first free throw. But here's the second effort. Still got to get close. And he's good on the second. He went right up to 70, and they are pulling way ahead. Here's Colinari. Blocked by Gobert. Now here's Conley, the fast break opportunity. Here's Mitchell. Mitchell with the rep for. Lost the ball by Gobert, and it turns it over to Thunderball. Oklahoma City making a change. Oklahoma City making some change. Ferguson is subbed out. 
door is tucked in with 536 remaining so here's Paul Gallinari great great one hand with a layup Sure Use the backboard to make it protective. He has figured out how to attack the D and they kept him in check. Conley covered by Paul. He's flipped it. Conley, against Conley with a shot. Rebound by Gobert. Block pass. Adams with the rebound and with the rejection, not even putting up that in time. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that shot's good. That could be Gorgix Alexander or Dora. I don't I don't know anything about it. Took away from Paul Chris Paul. Here's Adams. Tough defense. Almost puts up another foul. Over in the corner, Conley. Conley for three. Remove. Rebounded by Adams of another one after Jazz misses another one. As good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Dort with first three. And a great come comeback with 420 remaining. And Gorgeous Alexander's got another point. Conley is taking a call time here. Utah timeout. New groups for Utah. And now I switch it up to, to two to three zone. It's taken over by Gallinari, and they go on the other way. Rebound? No, not even enough reach. That's a bummer. Mitchell misses again after after Gallinari misses the first one, then the second time. There it is again. Gallinari missed it a second time. Oh! That was funky. The, the the dunk was putting up so much effort, and that's why they're looking all over it. Timeout called by Funders, and we need to put it back in together. I'm going to have to fix this one up already. That man is putting up some major numbers. And I'll, let's play some. Uh, let's play some series. Flip push, and then uh, that might that might work. Okay, just just fix it. No subs yet. With 3:45 left, here is Gil Gorgic Alexander. He's covered by with Donovan Mitchell. Alexander surveying the D. Dort moving on in. Out to Gallinari, and the foul is on Conley by Stephen Adams, his first personal foul, and Stephen Adams will uh, will go out. Noel's checked in. Passes to Paul. Over to the left wing. Here's Dort. Oh, uh, the Funders couldn't handle a number three, but that time they're losing a streak. Mitchell with the shot. Good work for Gallinari and great help on defense. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Noel with the fadeaway and he makes it in. With three minutes, looking for a comeback. Conley. He kicks, it to, kicks it to Donovan Mitchell, Bogdan, Bogdanovich, put it back, no good. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 4 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Chris Paul for three. Gobert with the rebound. Moves it out of bounds, but this one's keeping the Utah ball. It's another huge miss uh, on the opportunity line, but that one's going to be tough or close again. Oklahoma City on D. OKC on D. They played a great fourth quarter defensive, allowing only three. Up again, and Bogdanovich makes a shot. Today, guys, their success with the mid range. Double man covered. Releases, from Releases the two. Chris Paul not on the full meter. 
Here's a three. Makes a miss. I'm gonna need to switch this. Come on. Passes to Chris Paul. For three. Try to grab the rebound, but it misses. Donovan Mitchell again with a cut. Donovan Mitchell's got 22. Dennis Schroeder with 14. And game one's not a good day to pull it back into position. Lost a full meter and makes a miss. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. Chris Paul picks up the foul with 131 remaining. Royce O'Neal checked out and Ingles checks in. Here's Conley. Conley up. Marvelous move and Thunders call time here. They're going to have to talk that over. Even though uh, the, I'm bad playing as a pro, and I didn't roll up that well. So it uh, looks like it's happening all over the spot, news, but it's definitely too much to control out the second. For that time, this will will call one of each player well, we have seen some players refuse to speak to the media for whatever reason where should that now uh, and now here's our Jordan player of the game Donovan Mitchell with amazing points and how bad it is but Rudy Gobert has that has that chance opportunity again before Donovan Mitchell was there for that game that's how it's happening all over the the uh, all over the court making the points back in and there it was that's how you notice one of each one of each one of each court again Foul on Gobert, his fourth. And Dennis Schroeder going to be shooting two shots. First one. First one falls in. And now for 65. He makes two. Two from the line that time. 125 play. Conley against Schroeder. Ah, oh, avoid it. Going to pass the arc. Rebound. Foul called on Noel. He's spurred. This is what happens when coaches don't usually uh, pay that attention. They keep hitting on some, uh, something else that all of a sudden. Gobert are going to shoot two, but he didn't make one in before one shot. Uh, <laughs> they're away. I, how does that happen? Maybe one of each player is getting a little tired. And they might need to sub out. Good on the second free throw. Brent, when we talk about home court advantage, do you feel it's the same as it used to be? It has that same impact? I, I do think it's still hugely important, Kevin. It's less important when there's a team that has been together for a long time. Shooter for three. That they can Miss again. On the road and, and come home with a victory, but it absolutely gives you a level of comfort as a player to get into your routine, to be at a place that seems familiar. Shooter are coming back. Psychologically helps everybody. And Bogdanovich with the save again, and they didn't have any responders back. Oh, Dort with the crossover, and a dunk is pulling up on the show again. This time was called by by a reach and foul of Dennis Schroeder, his second. Now the one on one is called. Had a shot at drafting John Moran right before the draft that deal took place. Now, I tell you what, he looks to be a great fit in Utah and be that third star the team needs to push. Them well, now the one on one, the second time. Give up a fair sum to get him, but it was worth the risk. Next, uh, 
Joining us for our next playoff, we have is the Boston Celtics against the uh, against the Bucks. As as we have a key matchup between Jason Tatum and Giannis Antetokounmpo. And then finally, we head over to the Western Conference standing. As we have the Rockets facing against the you know. Uh, um, I forgot who, I forgot what other team, Nuggets, yes, Denver Nuggets. That will be our last two games before heading into game two. Connolly will shoot again. The first one falls for it. Second shot. He missed it. He didn't get that one in that time. Now here's Diallo. Here's Diallo. Missed one. Conley feeling it out. Stop the clock at 10.5 seconds. Diallo takes a first personal foul. Conley going to shoot two. And there is no 101. I'm sorry. One for First one falls for it. And he Conley makes the second. Here's Noel. Here's Noel, and Noel makes that shot. Yeah, th this is what you love about him, the confidence on that mid-range. Two that's seconds, of his and, and that's the end of the game. Again, so Jazz takes the first that. win against so OKC, 85 to 69, as that score was getting tough. Loud City became exactly too weak the and too much confidence the by it again to make it completely off. That's but that's how it's done. happening. So right now, here's a sideline as David Aldridge is standing by. Kevin, thanks. Rudy, another strong performance for you guys. How good is this team playing right now? Uh, we're playing great, you know. Uh, it's all about our defense. You know, when we play defense, when we focus, we communicate. And after we get this stuff on the offensive end. Rudy, a great win. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. Alright folks, thanks for watching. If you guys like to see some more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. More videos are underway, so stay tuned, and we'll be seeing you guys next time on NBA 2K20. So with that, peace out bitches for as a while as a NBA playoff dial. So long everyone.